You ever just wake up and just have the urge to watch a really bad movie? Well, I do for some reason, so let's watch Tammy and the T-Rex, cause fuck it. Lately, I've had a fascination with bad movies, watching them, studying them, figuring out what went wrong and why it went wrong, and so all that interest has currently led me to a little film called Tammy and the T-Rex. Everything in Tammy's life is just great, but when you're young and in love, life can get very complicated. Dear God, what have I gotten myself into? So for those of you who might be interested in checking out this little gem from the 90s, you can find it uh, on YouTube in its entirety for free. So, you know, that, that shows you what we're dealing with. You know, I'd be pretty upset if someone put my movie up on YouTube and, and just I wasn't getting any of that money, but I guess for people who made Tammy the T-Rex, you know, that's actually probably a blessing. So let's just get into this. Do, do I even have a remote? Okay, so right off the bat, we got this little title screen that makes it look like we're about to be diving into a children's educational video. The whole thing just seems very, very much aimed at kids. And, and you know what? You know what? The, the little logo here, it, it actually kind of looks like a kiss. It looks like a... Looks like a little, you know, that's nice. It's gonna give you a little peck, letting you know that you're about to kiss away an hour and 20 minutes of your life. You know, a sensible person would probably stop here. This would probably be the point where, like, you know, I'm at my limit. At this, it, at this point, it's just a little bit like uh, when you see that kid that, uh, the kid that everybody made fun of in high school walking in like a trench coat, you know? You just have a feeling something bad's about to happen. The one who runs like uh, Naruto? Yeah, I am on my ninja clan. Ninja clan, here we stand. Naruto, I'm on my wing. Naruto, I'll be okay. Oh yeah, this is a jam. Oh, I feel you on that. Practice for what? What were you practicing for? Oh yeah, I remember every day in high school, you know, the strip tease club would just always be taking up the gym. Coach is paying his back for losing. <laughs> I thought you did great. Yeah, well, the only great is when you win. <laughs> it took two people to write this. Work it, girl. Uh, okay, hold on one sec. Uh, let's see when this was made. Yeah, I bet this is gonna be tasteful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fire and meet Michael. It's a pleasure to meet you in the flesh. You know, Tammy talks about you all the time. <laughs> and I can say, girl, you didn't exaggerate one little bit. <laughs> two. It took two people to write this. Yeah, I think everybody knows Byron. <laughs> You shouldn't have done this. Uh, so, so then they start getting an argument over a flower. I just can't do it. You're crazy, you know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you? Is this what you think people do? Chomping down on a flower? Oh, it's the way straight into their pants, man. What do you think this girl's Tinder bio looks like? Tammy, 18. Looking for a man who knows how to act wild. Chomp down some flower petals and I'm all yours. Just don't try to give me that flower or I'll fucking flip out! Oh no. Michael, you gotta get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Steve Perry's gonna take you to Pound Town. He's going to hurt you. And if he touches me, I'm gonna hurt him back. What the hell do you think you're doing, Billy, man? You're so it's about here that we start to see what's going on. Paul Walker's character really likes this girl for some reason, but she's involved with Journeyman over here who I guess hates Paul Walker. That's my lady! It's cool. Uh, so then this very long fight scene happens, which ends with each of them grabbing the other person's dick while everyone in the crowd watches in horror. 
Yes, because this is exactly how this would go down. You know, I was in high school for a long time, maybe maybe just a maybe just a few too many years uh, for my for my liking. But but you know, I remember every day just going out into the parking lot, and I just see two two dudes just like grabbing at each other's dicks, and everybody around them, you know, they just went wild for that shit. They're just like, you know, the school's got a restraining order against you. What? Yes, we here at the school have decided to file a restraining order against you. But here is one of them testicular standoffs. Oscar worthy. You're not squeezing much, Michael! Just phenomenal! Remember, true love never fails, honey. Okay, uh, I, I know. I know this movie. I know what the title of this movie is. I know this movie is called Tammy and the T Rex, but but still, I wasn't. I was not quite prepared for that. This is so jarring. Just randomly, we've had this weird high school movie so far, and then just all of a sudden, boom, T Rex. Here you go. Uh, I, I, well, fuck him then. You know, I try my best to provide for this fucking family. I give him bodybuilders to play with, possibly consume. This is the thanks I get. Why is there a T-Rex with magical stretchy arms? Show me its teeth. Before I show you mine. What? I will give you everything. I will give you a brain. I will give you immortality. <laughs> really, uh, really, you, you, you've done enough. You, you brought me back from the dead, I'm pretty sure we're just, we're just a-okay on that front. So then Paul Walker gets sad and listens to some hair rock until he gets a call from Tammy Screams a lot. Okay, alright, I'm on my way. Wait, Michael. Just don't let my parents see, okay? Okay! Go to the window by the driveway, that's my room. Alright, 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 bye. Wait, wait, and don't park Alright, bye. Yes! Uh, so then this new song starts. And immediately ends. Guess they were starting to feel bad for the audience. I mean, who could blame them, right? Did you see that? You know, it was very inclusive of them to hire a deaf actor for this role. Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Your dad? I'm sorry, I knocked my dictionary, but I'm doing my homework up here. Then why are you laughing? Okay. And what was all that other noise? I love you too. No, no, I want answers. Wait, how am I even calling you? Oh. Uh, oh. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna watch this anymore. I'm just gonna. Ooh, what's hot? You think that was them congratulating themselves? Hey, hey, yeah, there's Tammy and the T-Rex. It's too hot. Too hot for the kids or for literally anybody else. Who is it? Oh, God, it's Billy. Oh, yeah, great job, Dad. Just, just let them all in. What are you, that girl from the purge? Just gotta let your family get killed? Fuck you. So then they chase Paul down with their cars and proceed to hit him with a wiffle ball bat a bunch of times. You better not tell anyone who did this. What do you think they're gonna do to him? I don't know. Billy looks pretty mad. Wow. Am I watching Tammy and the T-Rex or Citizen Kane over here? How far are you going, boss? I'm going all the way. No, really, dude. My mom's got to pick me up a tent. So then they decide to leave Paul Walker alone in Wild Animal Park, miles away from the California border. See all your favorite animals just roaming around. You know, the fucking lions and tigers and bears. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. That looks official. I'm pretty sure this guy just shows up in this park every night and just randomly starts shooting animals. So yes, Paul Walker actually gets mauled by a lion. Oh my 
Not that you'd really be able to tell. What did he tell you? What? Michael, I don't oh yeah, turn up. Yeah, oh, I need to drink just to get through this fucking movie. I feel ya. Uh, so then Professor Bad Guy comes in and... Oh. Th this... This is just great. This is by far the best performance in this movie. He just comes in to the hospital, just smoking a cigarette, and just, just watch. Doctor, doctor, we have a big problem here. Yes, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, stop. Yes, his heart has stopped, resuscitated. No, Michael, no! Oh, mommy, if he wakes up now, he's going to have a heart attack for sure. Live! 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 Well, that's it. It's <laughs> just a bit a bad day for everybody. Oh, look, it's the director. Uh, suddenly things are starting to make a lot more sense here. <laughs> so they take Paul Walker to the warehouse with a T-Rex of mysterious origin and prep him for surgery. And I love, I love the way they just make this poor, confused man help out with it. They just find him walking around, just convince him to be a part of this. Is that is that how they got him in the movie? This guy was just was just out there. It's like, hey, you wanna you wanna be in a you wanna be in a T Rex movie? We'll, we'll pay you. We'll feed you. You gotta get you gotta get stomped to death by a T Rex in the next goddamn scene. Wow, they can really sync up my emotions to the movie. That's true talent. The brain is a lot more resilient than you can think, huh, Bobby? It can repair itself. Reprogram itself. It's even capable of deceiving itself, imagining that it's better than it is, just to please itself. Huh? And you know what? No pain, no gain. You know. I mean, if you're going to make an omelet, you have to break a few eggs, right? <laughs> what does this guy do for a living? Ah, yes, I'm in the T-Rex business, and it's booming. So then Pedro shows up here with with a pizza. Who ordered this? What's going on? Paul Walker's brain is, is now piling in a dinosaur. Beep, 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 this is real. So, uh, so let me, let me get this ready. Uh, he kicks James Vanderbeek here with his rubber feet and then fucking crushes him to death, then uses a payphone with his magic stretchy arm. Ah, ah, yes. So, so I was, I was thinking uh, for for this next scene, it'd just be, it'd be great if our hero turned a man into a pile of goo before Kali Collect. I really, I get that cutting edge technology in there. Hello, it gets my better judgment. I'm gonna keep going. Hi, this is Tammy. Leave me a message, or I'll be mad at you. Uh, to be, to be fair, that's probably the noise I'd make if my girlfriend's voicemail was that annoying. Just give me the keys. Just give me the keys. Harry, I'm not coming driving with you. Oh, this is great. Who put this here? I don't know, lady. The movie hasn't said. So the 90s just keeps on coming here for a while, and the scene just, it just goes on so long. I, like, I don't want to see anything but the T-Rex now. You, you've, you've, you've shown your hand too early. You've, you've shown your T-Rex dice, and now that's all, that's the only game I want to play. We're shooting for craps tonight, baby. Uh, so anyway, Paul Walk the Dinosaur watches the party from afar. Well, and then things just kind of happen for a while. Uh, one of the McPoyles pisses on him, and then I'm not, I'm not making this up. He gets his dick ripped off, and then after that, he proceeds to eat off old Steve Perry, dust off 90s gay friend, and then, and then just go back to murder. Not since Batman v Superman has the hero character caused so much collateral damage. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's a massacre! I don't think that. Jeez, no, it looks like he's been bleeding too. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is, this is such a funny sight, so hilarious. Look at, the, look at this stupid loser without a face, dumbass. Real winners, they, they got faces. <laughs> Hold it, please. We'll blow that sucker away. What the hell 
is going on here? What's going on here? Come in, oh, oh shit! Oh, uh, I'm uh, this is a. Uh, ooh, this is just one of those days, huh? Listen, listen to me. Can you tell me what went on here? It was. It was. They're in shock, sheriff. You're gonna have to slap it out of them. Are you a cop? Did you just murder a cop and steal his clothes? Just gotta, just gotta slap the answers right out of here. Why I out of? You want me to slap the girl for you, sheriff? I, I'm just. I'm just, I'm just numb at this point. Just dispose of them. I mean, just make sure the boy goes back to the morgue. And what do we tell our investors? Tell them. I showed them this and this, huh? I mean, they will love it. They are capitalists. They will see nothing but dollars, lots of dollars. Now, come on, we must find our dinosaur. I, I feel like this actor just showed up without a script. They just let him freewheel into madness. Move over, Jared Leto. This guy's the real method actor. Did you hear that? Yeah, you're a real bright one, aren't you? I don't understand. Head. Ear. Ear. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, the fingers. Yeah, you're a real bright one, aren't you? Is that really you in there? Michael? What the hell happened here, Tammy? Who did this? I don't know. I think it was just a meteor or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Go with that. Uncle and guardian, Bob Brown, would like to say a few words. Bob? <laughs> As everybody probably knows, Michael was orphaned when he was quite young. This funeral scene is just, is just pure gold. Watch out for the worms. Would you relax? <laughs> ah yes, everybody knows after being dead one day, your face just kind of... Uh, so then they start looking for a new body for Paul. This might be the best scene in the movie. I take back whatever I said earlier. We're, we're, in, a, we're in a whole new territory here. Uh, no, oh no, no, trust me, those those aren't the guys you want to help you. Take the tape off his mouth, stupid. And then blah, 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 chase, chase, chase. How much longer we got? Yeah, 10 minutes, God, I feel like I've been here for three goddamn days. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's a good boy, Michael. That's good. Is it, is it over? Can I go? Am I, do am I done? God damn it! Uh, she fucked the T-Rex, didn't she? They, they fucking plowed, right? That what have, what have I done in my life to deserve this? What have I done to deserve... To, what has anybody done to deserve Tammy and the T-Rex? Go for the dog, get up the floor, everybody fuck that dinosaur! That's my daddy, honey! You think he'll listen to you? I don't know! He hasn't so far! Well, maybe I should go with you! I think Michael's trying to say that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, what are we gonna do? We need something white, something white, besides you. Not touching that one. Hold your fire! Hold your fire, everybody! Hold your fire! He's waving a flag! That ain't no flag, Sheriff. That's a brazier. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Hey, your guess is as good as mine. What are you doing? Get the hell out of here! That is my dinosaur that you are threatening. I made him and he's mine! Good shot. Yeah, yeah, fuck you too. Thank you, Nancy. Michael! Michael, 
Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey. Hi. Oh, look. The parents haven't been taken away for gross negligence. Looks like justice is served. Uh, so then the movie starts to wrap up and, uh, j just watch this. No words. No words will do this justice. Cheers. Cheers to you, honey. So naughty, you drive me crazy. I feel, I feel like they just gave her a shitload of booze, and, and she's just like, "What? What's that? I have to, I have to do a scene where I do, where I do a strip dance for a brain in a jar, and the brain's gotta come sparks. Okay, well, just just keep them coming. It's been helping us out so far. <laughs> you gotta give me a body. I can't take any more of this. Oh well, yeah. They're, uh, apparently, neither could uh, neither could anybody in the audience because that's exactly where the movie ends. Woo! Okay, so that is that's that's Tammy and the T Rex, and I, I don't know about you, but I think we're looking at one for the Criterion Collection. We got we got a few, we got a we got a long time as a society before we're gonna come overcome this. Wow! Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Now, well, if you did, you should you should hit the hit that little button at the bottom that that says you liked it, cause uh, that and subscribing, you yeah, know, it really really helps me out. I'm, I'm you know I'm. I'm unemployed, this is, oh god, what am I doing? Do you guys like this video? I'm trying to do more like it. Uh, I have a bit of free time now, so it looks like I might be able to redirect that into making some more videos once again, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah, in case you're wondering where I've been, I've actually been working on a feature film for, I'd say, about the past year now. I'll put links to all the info about that in the description so you guys can check that out. Check out the GoFundMe for my movie. I'll put all that stuff in the description. Your support really helps out. I'm really excited for all you people to be able to see it once it's all wrapped up. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go drink for several days to try and forget about all the atrocities that I've just witnessed on the screen. Well, bye.